Hi everyone, it's WGM's MCI here. How you doing? Welcome you back to my Let's Play of Dragon Quest, The Journey of the Cursed King. Last time around, we we explored Impichu and we got into the world of darkness and now we're here at Dark Impichu. So let's talk to the chief here. Ghost Jar, welcome to Impichu. You've seen our village, yes? Then let me tell you something. I assume the others have told you that Imperio is responsible for an attack on our village. It is natural to think this, but to be honest, I am not fully convinced that she wished to cause us any harm. Since times of old, Imp Imperio has always been veneered by the, by the people of Impichu. If it's not simply because she was pretty, it's because she has protected us. I beg of you, will you find out why Imperia continues to attack us? I believe there is some hidden meaning behind her actions. I also believe that your arrival here is not an accident. I believe it to be fate. Only Imperia may cross between the worlds of darkness and the world of light. It was she who got you here, correct? The Imperia must be thinking something. She revealed the truth to you. I apologize for putting such a burden on your soldiers. But if nothing is done, I will not be able to stop the people of Impichu from attacking Imperia. A war of Imperia would only lead to, to tragedy. This is why I want you to find out why the Godbird is attacking us. Will you accept my request? Yes, of course I will. So you'll do it. I thank you. And now I should tell you how to find Imperia. She is often seen near Imperia's Roost, a large rock formation in a nearby field. I suggest looking for her there first. Alright. So I'm actually going to save it. Because there's a boss fight coming up, and honestly, this is going to be hard. I I actually am expecting to die to get a game over for this boss fight because it is that hard. But we'll see. I might not. And what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to give the rune staff to Jessica. And in the previous episode, or in between episodes I should say, I did quite a bit of grinding. I am now level 37, 38, 36. And I also uh, made in the alchemy pot a few extra things. I made uh, Raging Bull Helms, which is Mithril Helm plus Cowpat plus Milk. And I made one for Yangus and one for the hero. I have a Mithril Helm for Angelo. And I have a Thinking Cap, which is... Um, which is a scholar's hat plus a iron headgear for Jessica. Oh, and I also I also uh, created the uh, the liquid metal sword, which is one of the best swords in the game. Uh, I made that with the rusty old sword, a slime crown, and an orichalcum. So that's a thing. It's one of the strongest swords in the game, and. I feel I need it at this point. <laughs> so let's highlight. Now, if I can remember where this is, that would help. And as I say, this this boss fight is 
coming up is going to be quite hard. I'm expecting to die, honestly. Even though I've prepared, I've prepared as much as I can by leveling up and grinding. Really? Okay. And that's why I've run away from them, guys. Because they can just kill you without any rhyme or reason. They can just kill you. So yes, I'm trying to re fully restore my HP and MP game. Because I used MP to revive myself after dying. But luckily cousin revives you at full health, but it costs 15 MP, so... I need as much MP as I possibly can for this fight. Oh wow. Okay, good. Okay, good. Alright, so this is the place the chief told us about. And this is this is the boss, Imperia. Oh boy. Um Okay, that's a hundred damage. Wow, um, okay.
Now I'm wondering how you get out of Dazzled. I don't think you can. Okay. Well, at least I don't know that Falcon Slash does more damage. don't really think I have anything really to and even if I did it it would be
And yes, it can heal itself. That's a thing it can do too. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to pack uh, MP healing items. So this might be interesting. And I didn't pack your dress leaves on other characters in case Angelo dies. So I'm 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 not doing well at all here. Well I'm zing on the hero. So that's my that's my play. I wonder if it's weak to poison. I wonder if I, if I can poison it. I don't think it worked.
Yeah, I'm running running out of MP. Because I didn't pack MP healing items. Yeah, I don't think poison's gonna work on it. Keep trying though. I don't think poison's gonna work against it. I really don't. And I think hero's death? No, he's not. He's still alive. I killed it? Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Wow. HP up 15, MP up 6. Strength 2, agility 4, wisdom 9, resilience 1. And 9 skill points. I get a seed of magic as well. And I learned Calicus or Calicus. You are brave to have followed my shadow here from the world of light. And you are able fighters. Perhaps you have realized already, but that battle was a test. Please forgive my methods, but I am in search of someone strong to help me. What do you mean? Surely you don't expect us to help you attack the village? I'm afraid you've misjudged us. We're not about to help you with your tyrannous scheme. Please do not misunderstand me. It was never my desire to attack the village. That too is part of the reason why I am in need of help. When Rapthorn, Lord of Darkness, 
attempted to conquer the world of light. I helped the sages to seal him away. In so doing, I earned the enmity of the monstrous servants of Rapthorn. That is why I am in this predicament. I have a baby, an egg in my nest. I have been waiting for the day it would hatch. But my nest has been captured by Gemon, one of Rapthorn's foul minions. He is holding my egg hostage. He forced me to attack the human village. I could not refuse if I wanted to save my child. Normally, I would have nothing to fear from the likes of Gemon. But as long as he has my egg, I am powerless to oppose him. That is why I must find someone to fight him in my place. Someone brave and strong. You did not waver in following my shadow here to the world of darkness. Such bravery, and now you have proven your strength in battle. I have no doubt that you are the only ones brave enough and strong enough to defeat Gemon. Please help me. Save my egg. For me, for my unborn child, and for the people of this island. Oh, yeah, a choice. Well, of course I'm going to do it. Thank you. I was right to choose you. My nest is on a precipice at the summit of a mountain far beyond the reach of humans. Gemon will be watching for me, so I cannot take you all the way to the top, but I can take you to the mountain's base. Are you ready to go now? Well, actually, no, we're not. Very well. I will be waiting for you here. Just tell me when you are ready. How did I win that? <laughs> I don't even know how I won that fight. I I literally have no clue on how I won that fight. I should not have won that fight. But I did. I think it was because I, I just stopped using the rune staff because he was just going to disperse it. I guess that wasted its turn though. I guess I could have done it that way, but I don't know. Maybe, and just tried to attack her with Jessica? I don't know. Maybe that helped. Maybe it didn't. It probably it maybe helped a little bit, but yeah. I'm going to zoom back to Dark and Peachy. Because you bet I'm going to rest and save. 
but I will do that off screen. So I'm actually just going to end this episode here. Yes, this episode was just dedicated to the Im Imperia fight. That's how hard it is. And I over leveled, by the way, and it was still pretty difficult. So yeah, that just shows you how difficult this fight is. But I'm glad I've beat it. So, I'll end this episode right here. So next time on, or on Dragon Quest, The Journey of the Cursed King, I will be exploring the next dungeon. I'll be talking to Imperia and she'll take us to the next dungeon. So, with that being said folks, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to become part of my community where we spread fun and positivity. So with that being said folks, I will of course see you again. Thanks for watching.